Book review time. And today we are reviewing Untwisting Scripture by Rebecca Davis. Untwisting Scripture. Yes, all scripture is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for from growing us up. But sometimes there are people with agendas. They want to make a point, so they'll pull a scripture out of context and they will use it for their own ends. Who'd have thought? But it happens. And quite often it, it can happen in ignorance and sometimes it can happen uh, because there's a wolf, in, a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's how abuse goes on. That's how it gets covered up. That's how it doesn't get dealt with. This is a really courageous book. Now, I was given a PDF advanced copy because I happen to subscribe to the author's uh, blog, uh, which is uh, heresthejoy.com. And uh, what I, I will show you the PDF contents page, which um, will give you, I like to go to a contents page to see um, what a book is going to cover. Uh, it talks about uh, gossip and negative speaking that, uh, but she talks about the difference between, between uh, speaking evil and speaking of evil. Because if there's evil going on, it needs to be addressed. If somebody needs rescuing, you can't just pray it to stop happening. Action has to be taken. Things have to be reported. And that child needs to be rescued from the hands of a predator. Now, that's an extreme. And uh, there are other things that we can pull back from that are inappropriate and abusive where we need to speak to somebody. And if someone doesn't want to hear it, they're going to accuse you of gossip. But when you have that response, she goes into details of when it's appropriate and when it isn't. And that's really helpful to know. Uh, another thing that uh, absolutely shocked me, if we look down here at uh, number 15, there, number 15, I've never heard of such a thing. The sin of empathy. What? You know, the, empathy is not a sin. Look up the definition that's the actual definition and not the definition of the preacher delivering the message because quite often they, they like to, if, if, if they're wanting to make a point, they'll add to a definition or they'll enhance a definition to support what they want to preach about. Empathy, the Bible says weep with those who weep and mourn with those who mourn. It's incomprehensible to me that empathy would be considered a sin unless it's by someone who is a sociopath and uh, like, <laughs> who, who would be one of those people who twist things around to make it the victim's fault. Now, people who've been traumatised, they are hard to counsel. They are hard to deal with sometimes. But that doesn't mean that we, we discard them and get mad at them and get impatient with them. That's actually a sign of emotional immaturity, a lack of emotional intelligence and a lack of training. Because as leaders... We need to be able to, you know, I would recommend a trauma-informed course uh, as uh, Rebecca Davis has done. She's a trauma-informed counsellor, prayer counsellor. So she deals with this stuff all the time. And uh, we need to be equipped. You know, we need more pastors to pastor. There's lots of leaders, there's lots of preachers, but the pastor's heart is what nurtures the people and heals them and helps them to grow. That's, what, that's what's really important. This is, this is a really important book because there's stuff going on out there and it's being spoken out in the world about people being abused and the church needs to be seen to be doing something about it, not just reporting something to the police because the law requires them to, like a begrudging, that's just not right. Jesus is not embarrassed. He's not afraid uh, for things to be, to be dealt with. In fact, in regards to offences, you know, people say, oh, don't be offended. And, and Rebecca covers this as well. Oh, you're not to be offended. You know what? <clears throat> Jesus addressed the issue of offence. Like, yes, we forgive, but that doesn't mean that we don't, that doesn't mean that we allow that person to keep doing the wrong thing to us or to someone else. We have a responsibility. That's what challenged me about this book. We actually have a responsibility to defend the, the, the weak and the, and the people who are, who are victims. <clears throat> and Jesus said in um, Matthew 9, verse 6 and 7, about causing little ones to stumble. Now, little ones can also be subordinates. 
know, they don't have to be tiny. They might be a 19 year old girl who's been raped. It, it, it horrifies me that the concept of that even possibly happening. Um, but, and, and not just that, there's, there's other things that are inappropriate that cause people to walk away from God. Now, yes, they've got their own responsibility for that, for, for their decision, but, but the influence of a leader, there are lots of people out there who have been hurt and the response of the church has been inadequate. It's been lacking in compassion. There's been no repentance it's, and, and it's been victim blaming. Well, why would they stay? And God hates that. I know because this is what he's saying here. You cause one of these little ones to stumble, then look out. Woe to the world because of offences. Offences may come. They must come. But woe to the man by whom the offence comes. Not woe to the person who got offended. Woe to the person who caused the offence. Let's, let's get things back our priorities in order. Yes, we want to forgive. We forgive, but people doing the wrong thing are still required to repent. They don't stick around and keep doing it and everyone says nothing and turns a blind eye. That's, that's, that's cult-like behaviour. That's cultish. So uh, that is the book. It is, here we are, Untwisting Scriptures. Now, I did get the advanced copy PDF version. This is book three, and it was so good. On the weekend, I bought books one and two. And number two has got an audio book with it. I picked that one up as well from Amazon. So pick it up on Amazon. I give it five stars. It's a really important book. And uh, I would recommend that you buy it, read it, and take courage and speak up for those who need speaking up for. Because you know what? One day, that might be you. All right, bless you heaps.